Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is Sweet Sailor Sketches, and today I'm going to be doing a sketchbook tour. Other than that, that's... that's it. I mean, I'm doing a sketchbook tour, what else do you want me to say? So, let's go. Okay, so this sketchbook tour like is gonna be a little bit wobbly, wobbly, because I actually this book has the pull in and out tabs, so a few of the pages might rip, fall out, and die. Other than that, I think we should be fine. I started this on August 9th and went to November 17th. I actually dated this book. Can you believe that? Like I actually dated it. I do not date anything. I am completely lazy and I don't date anything. And then there's a little dude. I started this book off like I usually start all my books off, just doing little things, little poses and stuff, so I don't feel pressured to be able to start something like, like that, a finished piece, right away. Um, I definitely recommend this if you're getting a new sketchbook because some people struggle with um, like not being able to commit to sketchbooks, new sketchbooks right away because they feel nervous about it or they feel like if they don't get the first page right, nothing else is going to go right. But the first page is usually the page that everyone forgets because it's the first thing they saw. The thing that they're going to remember is the last thing that they saw. So I think it's important to remember that it's your sketchbook and the first page doesn't matter that much. That's why I only put the date on the first page. So, yeah. Okay, so here I have some more pose practice. I like to do these a lot. Um, I don't know where I put my color erase pencils, but they have disappeared off the face of the earth, so that's sad, but <laughs> um, here, oh my gosh, it is so bad. Draw your profile pictures! It will be in the iCard and in the description. All videos will be in the description, but some of them will be in the iCard until I run out of room. Here's some clothes practice. This is genuinely scary how much I hate these now. Here's some eyes, and here are... Oh, this is actually the sketch for this one, which is my monthly collab turning a melon soda float into a person. Um, I liked it a lot better when it came out. I liked it a lot better, too. but I love this page. I absolutely love this page. I love the, um, I did this challenge. It's like you draw one, you draw one, you draw one, and apparently the end one is supposed to look better. And that did happen for the girl and for Kirishima, but for Bakugo, I like the first one a lot better than the last two. I don't know what happened for her. <laughs> yeah, but like, this is so cute. Look at his little fries, look at his little fries. And this is in my intro. I just, I love his little face and I love it. And I'm gonna die. It's so cute. Here I drew my friend. I drew my friend again, making a funny face. Um, a flamingo. That's random. It's Perry the Platypus. <laughs> um, there is just some sketches. I think I saw some of those picture references on Pinterest. Pinterest I use a lot because it's amazing. Like for these, these clothes, these were all from Pinterest. None of them were made up in my head because I do not have that kind of creativity. Okay, so at this point I was at my friend's house and we were doing this Draw This In Your Style challenge on Instagram. I don't remember who it was from. But if you know, let me know down below. But yeah, I didn't finish it because I had to leave. So here's some more Pinterest poses. I love the one with the gun, and I know that's like really weird, but I really like the way that it turned out. Excuse me, I really like the way that the one with the pillow turned out. Looks very sad. And this was a collab with that same friend I was at earlier, hanging out with and stuff. Um, I did this half first, and then she did the second half. Um, yeah, that's that's what it is. I mean, there's nothing really else to say. Her Instagram is at underscore sinart, so you can go check that out. Here is a picture of moi, and I actually have that shirt and those shorts. Um, just, uh, oh, I love this so much. I think it's so cute, even though the eyebrows are kind of messed up. I was playing around with my dip pens this, like, entire 
section of the page for my noses and stuff. And then, like, I really do like sketching with point pens too. Ooh, this is scary. Let's get this. This is very bad. Um, here is some planning for my first time, draw first time drawing the dude on my channel. I ended up going with that one. That one, I think is funny. I just think this one is so cute. I'm kind of sad that I didn't go with this one, but I really do like the way that this one turned out, so I'm not that sad about it, but I'm still a little bit, oh, that would've been cute, you know, like stuff like that. <clears throat> Here's the sketch for it. And here is the finished piece. This will also be in the iCard or in the description. There we go. <laughs> and then I've got this pose. I was using my left hand to hold the bottle, like this bottle that I have and like showing different poses and stuff. And then there's this. I saw a picture on Instagram where like if something's heavy, someone's gonna be leaning back a little bit because it's so heavy it's gonna push them back. There's Kuro from uh, Haikyuu. I love Haikyuu. I love it. Yeah, I saw this on Pinterest and decided to draw it, but I really, 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 really like the way that his hand turned out. Um, not this one. This one kind of looks funny, but I do love the way that that one turned out. And here is the drawing Iki, and here <laughs> was the drawing Euro Seas video that got completely destroyed. And I still feel horrible about that, but here it is. Admire it. Because it's not going to be in any other video. Here is some practicing like bodies and stuff and how they work. Here is just like a semi-realism sketch. Sometimes I really like to do these just to like escape from my style and just take a new perspective on it. This is also an OC from the video that got completely destroyed. I really do like this OC's design and I hope um I hope they're okay that that accident happened. I mean accidents happen all the time. I just feel so bad about it. Grr. Here is some lower pro pose practice, and I was using my dip pen after doing like a light sketch. Um, I think pose practices are very important, especially so, like I was able to get out all the shapes in this foot, and I really do like the way this foot came out. I think it's pretty cool. And don't mind this piece of tape right here, it's just to make sure I don't just like leak and you can't see anything in the sketchbook. Well, that's empty. Here's Spider-Man. Probably don't really care about that because it's just a pose. Here's something I just doodled in class, doodled in class, doodled in class. Um, here is a castle that we are doing for art class. It was my own design. I think, if I can remember straight, it's probably inspired by a whole bunch of stuff on Pinterest because Pinterest is just like my holy grail of finding references. Um, but yeah, here are some more outfit designs. I think uh, I saw these on Instagram. I don't remember who posted them, but I loved their designs and I just wanted to draw them in my own colors and stuff. And I did some hand practices, stuff like that. Um, here is drawing your OCs, two or three, I, I, who knows. Um, I really, really like the way these came out for being this far behind, like, so... In the past, I really think that I outdid myself for being back there in the dark ages. But oh wait, it's going to be like this, isn't it? And then here is it all colored, and I really, 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 really like the red hair in this. It just pops, and it's so beautiful, such a vibrant color, and I just love the characters' designs for both of these. And then we've just got some doodles in class. Sometimes I struggle. I struggle with finding things that I can draw, so um, this was just random stuff, just completely random stuff, and I love that face, no one can tell me otherwise, it, I think it was supposed to be me, but I don't have bangs, I just didn't want to draw the hairline, so <laughs> that happened. Here is like a redrawing of my old Halloween pictures that will be linked in the description or the iCard if I didn't run out of room. But yeah, I really, 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 really like this way better than the other ones. But I think I could have done better. But that happens a lot. I always feel like I could do better. But um, here is a witch for the using my inks for the first time in October. And here is it all all done and I really like it. Um, I actually started coloring it digitally but then ran out of time and decided, you know what, I don't think I need to do this. So I just 
scrap the whole digital project all together because I've been using my phone for my digital artwork in this and it is not good to use your phone because it is so small and it's frustrating and I just hope that one day I'll be able to save up for a tablet, something that will be big enough and just perfect, you know. Of course, you know, we always think everything's gonna be perfect, but I was just drawing this character and then I drew them again. I really like the um, hairstyle that I put them in. I thought it was cute, so I just kept on drawing them. Not an OC whatsoever, but um, <laughs> I'd never redraw my OCs. This is the sketch for my profile picture. This is, um, I will put the person's Instagram on the screen. I use their art for references because I think their art is just so wonderful and amazing and I just love it. Here is some weird designs for, yeah, this one. This um, collab with Minty Sketchbook. I feel like I could have done so much better and I feel kind of bad about it because I had so many people coming over from their channel and that video almost has 800 views and I just feel kind of bad about it because I didn't do my best and I feel like I could have done my best to show people coming over from the channel what I'm all about but I kind of messed it up so opportunity lost but I do realism sometimes so I drew some non-reference realism which didn't turn out that well but that's okay it's not really that big of a deal because it was non-reference and here was the first planning for my first commission online and it went pretty well. I don't know if I still have a picture of it, but I, I'll put it up on screen. They really loved it and <laughs> this part is really sad. This next part is just death, but this is um, that ice cream video. I was gonna do a collab with Melon Doodles, one of my friends. She's so awesome, so sweet. Just passed a hundred... I just almost said hundred thousand. She just passed 1,000 subscribers and I'm so so happy for her. She deserves every person that is there plus more Seriously, she's so nice and so sweet and here is like the final sketch for it and then Here is the starting color. I actually lost the footage and then I was like, maybe I could redo it and then I tried to it just, it, it didn't work. I didn't have enough time and it turned out worse and everything just went wrong. So I just decided to scrap the video all together because I just, I couldn't upload it because I lost over half the footage and I was having a mental breakdown because of it. So yeah, that happened. And then we've got this doodle page from school. Drawing Among Us. I really do like Among Us. Um, here was, I was shadowing, I think I mentioned this in one of my videos, but I went to a different high school to look at what their school was like, and I just drew and drew because I was bored. But um, yeah, at the end of sketchbooks I usually just doodle, just like at the beginning, because it's too stressful to feel like you have to be perfect at the beginning and the end so that that's what people remember. Um, I feel like your sketchbook is your sketchbook and you can do whatever the heck you want with it. Um, this was my Vanilla P, V, Vanilla P video. I called it Penelope. I named it Penelope in the title. I named it Penelope on the thumbnail. Just everything I said, Penelope, and it's Vanilla P. Mm. Okay, I'm going to die now. Um, some people in the comments are like, um... It's Penelope. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I feel like I have betrayed everything from my childhood. And <laughs> I just feel so bad about it, but there's nothing I can really do about it now. I mean, I said Penelope so many times in the video, I just figured, you know what? I'm just gonna let my mistakes float. Everyone makes mistakes. You all should see that I make mistakes a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. But I drew my dog, Mr. Bean. He was laying with me, and I was drawing things around my room. This is a really, really good thing to do um, if you're just, like, stuck in a thing where you, like, you don't know what to draw, and you're just like, you know what, let's just draw random things around the room. I drew my clock, I drew my lamp, I drew my desk, I drew my paint bottle. I just drew a lot of stuff, so. And then I did it again. Um, this was actually, half of it was at school, but... This was my entry to Turtle Sketches contest. Um, this was a really, like, 
fast entry. I was a little bit busy at the time, but I wanted to participate in this challenge. I'll have his channel linked below. Super awesome, super sweet. Um, yeah, his art style is just amazing, so I hope you'll go check out them. Um, this is just a page of nothing, and this is a page of nothing, and I guess that's it. I guess that's what was in here. For some reason, I remember there being one more thing, but <laughs> that's alright. This is how the sketchbook tour turned out. I hope you guys liked this video, and I will have all the videos linked down below, all the channels I mentioned down below, and... Yeah, I hope you like this video. If you liked it, like it, comment, share, subscribe, remember to turn the notification bell to all, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I don't really have anything else to say. These sketchbook tours are always really bland. Is it just me? They just, they don't have anything to it besides this is what it is. Like, here's, here's a drawing, and then goodbye. There's no, this is how it turned out, but... Anyways, thank you for watching, thank you for being here, and thank you for 500 subscribers. I feel so good about that, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next Sunday, 3 p.m. Central Time, U.S. and Canada. And yes, I do say Canada, even though it's Canada, but I've been saying Canada all my life, so I'll see you guys next video. Bye!